Gee, welcome back. It's nice to see Thank you. Thank you. What's this about? What's this, this about heck, today? Now 500 heck of a points rally. almost. Heck of a rally. Uh, so this is, I think, maybe something along the lines of do as I do, not as I say, right? The Fed told us yesterday we're going to hike two more times. The inflation fight is not over. We had the terminal rate expectation move up by 50 basis points with an inflation expectation that only moved up 30 basis points, which sends the message that it's not tight enough yet. We haven't tightened it enough yet. We need to make things more restrictive. The market, in theory, should not like that. But what their action said was, we're going to pause. Frankly, I'm not sold that they're going to hike again. I don't know that they're going to be able to. I do think that there's going to be some kind of reckoning with the liquidity issues that are about to hit the market in a lot of different ways. I don't know that they're going to have the clearance to do it again. The interesting part is that the market just keeps to push it out, right? It's, it says, all right, we believe you might do it one more time. We thought maybe July. Now we think September. So it's possible that we just keep pushing that out into the future, and it never happens. All right. I think the big issue here is that the market and the Fed still disagree, and at some point, one of them or both of them is going to be wrong, and I think that's going to be a painful thing. I mean, you're not alone. Many of the notes out today from Wall Street firms said eh, maybe one more. Only City, I think, had two. Gunlock yesterday with us post-Powell yep. said they're done also. Do we have that, guys? Can we listen to that, Gunlock? I don't believe the Fed's going to raise rates again. I think Jay Powell has a really difficult job right now because, as Steve is correctly pointing out, I think he realizes that we're at a turning point, potentially, on the inflation situation and on the economy, and yet there are people that are dedicated to these, these lagging indicators like unemployment, uh, labor market, and certainly looking at core CPI, well, it lags. It, it just does. I mean, the, the point here is that they're done. They're not going to hike. Doesn't matter what they say. Yeah. I mean, that's what the market is saying today. Right. It has to be. Right. Right. Yeah, I saw that interview live with Jeffrey, and I actually agree with pretty much everything he said. I think, you know, the the bull case right now is that inflation has come down in a pretty linear fashion, and you could sit there and say, you know what, it's less than half of what it was at its peak last June, and that's a good thing, right? Pricing pressure is down. That's a good thing for consumers. You could also sit here and say, yes, but it's still twice what the target is, which means that the job is not done. And you have to then ask yourself, even if they're done hiking, if you believe that we're in this higher for longer regime, if we sit above 5% Fed funds rate for a really long time, can, number one, can capital sustain that? Can businesses get capital in that environment? We're already hearing that small and mid-sized businesses cannot as much as they used to be able to. You've got liquidity pulled out. And if you just chart liquidity over what typically happens in the stock market, particularly in tech stocks, you see it follow the way down. And there's a huge divergence right now. With, you've got tech stocks rallying. You've got the market rallying liquidity expected to fall pretty precipitously over the coming months. So one of those two, one of those two lines has to meet, right? And the liquidity one is probably not going to come up. You think we're going to have a recession? What's your, what's your base case call on that? Uh, my, if I had to answer that in one word, yes. Um, okay, so you also agree with rare. Gunlock on that point too. Yes. Well, and look, history is limited in its usefulness because obviously the environment is different. The market makeup is different today than it was 50 years ago. But things like a hiking cycle, particularly one that's this steep, yield curve inversion that's this deep and this prolonged, rarely, if maybe one time in the mid-90s, have they've always been followed by recession.